Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the main function. Um, up to this point in the videos I haven't really uh, mentioned this, but we have been studying functions in the last couple of videos and it's time for us to understand what the main function is and, and why we would want to write one. I have here in front of me a program. I'm going to go ahead and run it just so you can see what it does. This program goes ahead and draws flowers on the screen. Um, we could draw um, any, co any color flower we want to and it draws a nice little center for it there as well. We'll take a look at the code here. The program works of course, I just ran it. And in the last video we had similar code. Um, we've got this two radians and polar to x functions that we are using. We have a draw petal function that we're using. Um, and we have a draw flower function that we're using. You notice here one of the things I want to make sure to point out is that all of the function definitions come at the top of the program here. So two radians, the polar to x, the polar to y, draw petal, draw flower, we have all those function definitions first and then we have the module code, the code that's being executed um, to begin with other than the uh, function definitions. So if I execute this, I'll do a step into here so we can watch it, and we'll just step over and watch here. So I define this function, but I do not execute it. I go ahead and I define that function, but I don't execute it. Same with polar to y, same with draw petal, same with draw flower. And really, this is the first line of code that I'm actually going to go ahead and do something with. I'm going to actually create a turtle here. So I create the turtle, we saw that appear on the screen, and I get the screen, and I set the world coordinates, and then I call draw flower, and I jump into this code right here um, that's going to draw the flower. Now you notice here I've passed a couple extra parameters to it, scale and color, and I'm using scale and color in here, passing those to draw petal, and in draw petal I'm using the scale and color as well. Um, in computing my R, I'm going to use the scale so I can say how big I want the petal. And uh, the color, I'm actually using it here so that I can fill in the flower as it's drawn. Okay, so the program works, everything is fine, and I execute this body of this program here, and I, the, what's called the module code, and I, uh, I draw the flower on the screen. But there are some problems in this program that we would not see otherwise. Um, the problem has to do with uh, uh, how some of the parameters are being accessed um, in this program, the parameters being the parameters passed to some of these functions. So I would like to, uh, to demonstrate here by showing you that if I were to have, I should pass all of the parameters to each of these functions. In other words, when I call draw flower, I'm passing in t, and I'm passing in the 0, 0 as my x and y coordinate, I'm passing in my scale, and I'm passing in my color. And I'm calling those things turtle, x, y, scale, and color up here. So I should be, in this program, use, in this function here, using turtle, x, y, scale, and color. Um, let's say at some point in the future I say, well, t is not a very good variable name, and I'm going to go ahead and name it uh, turtle instead. So um, I would have to come down here and, uh, and change that to turtle as well. And I suppose I have to change this to turtle as well then. So I make those three changes in my program. And I go to run this program. And I get an error. I get an error right here on this line. And it tells me that global name T is not defined. So it's trying to access T right here and t is a global variable to this function and I didn't intend for it to be global. t is not being passed as a parameter to this function. In fact, what's being passed is turtle. But I didn't find that out right away because I had called this variable down here t. So because this variable was named t, I was just going getting away with accessing t as a global variable in this draw flower function. And in fact, that's true in draw petal here as well. I was getting away with accessing t as a global variable in this function up here, here and here as well. 
So I was getting away with accessing, as a, accessing that t as a global variable, even though I didn't intend to. OK, well, how can we deal with that? It's typically the case that Python programmers, when they're writing a program, they define their module level code, not at the module level, but in a function called main. So we are going to define an extra function here called main and put this code inside of it. So this main code, again, is not going to be executed immediately when we run the program. In fact, now that I have this code in here, if I do run this program, the program runs and finishes and does nothing. So I've put this code inside of a function, but I have not called it yet. And because I haven't called it, I'm not going to execute anything. So I've got to write a little bit of code here at the end to call it. And this is typically what Python programmers would do. So they write this special if statement. They say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And if that's true, then call the main function. So if I step into this function now to watch it, I'm going to go ahead and import math and turtle. And then I'm going to go ahead and define all of these functions. And I'm going to define main but I don't execute it. And then I'm going to go ahead and call main at this point, and now I get into the function to start executing the function. Okay, so I get into my main. Now how does this change things? Well, here I am, uh, I am using t, and I'm using t up here by accident as well. So if we get down to that point where I call draw flower here, and step into it and watch it execute, and I'm going to get an error right here at screen.tracer. So here is another instance where I was accessing a global variable. I was accessing screen as a global variable, and screen was defined again down in this, what was this module level code, but is now in my main function. Because this code is in my main function, the scope of it goes from here to here. In other words, t and screen are only accessible inside of this main function now and cannot be accessed globally, which is, which is better. I'm protecting those variables a little bit from the rest of the program, from other parts of the program using them by accident. So what I had meant to do up here was to go ahead and um, get the screen from the turtle. So I should have done uh, screen equals turtle.get screen. This will avoid, I could have passed screen in as an extra parameter, or I could just get the screen again by uh, creating the screen object here locally in this function. So now if I stop this program and run it again, and now I'm going to find out that t, I was accessing t globally by accident, but not anymore because t is not available to me to access globally. So again, I made a mistake. Um, I can go ahead and fix that mistake right away. I can change that to turtle, and I could change this to turtle as well. And then I can run the program again. And again, I'm going to get an error here because this should have been turtle as well. So we'll change that to turtle. And you can see how this putting this main code in the module level code in the function main has now let me find some errors that were in my program that weren't evident before. So I'm going to change this one to turtle as well. And I'll change this one to turtle as well. So now we go ahead and run it again. And there we have our flower again. So now this program is much more robust than it was before. It's, I've gotten rid of several errors that I did, did not detect before, and I detected them now because I put the module level code in a function called main. There is one other advantage to doing this as well, and it has to do with this if statement at the end down here. What does this mean? When I run a program, there is a special variable created by Python called underscore underscore name underscore underscore 
and that variable is set equal to main, to this underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore, this string called main. So when I run the program, Python sets these two equal for me, and that's nice because I can use then the fact that they are equal to go ahead and call my main function to get the program all started. Um, I am writing some code here that might be useful in other programs though as well. So for instance, if I wanted to draw a meadow of some sort, um, I might want to draw several flowers on the screen and I might want to use this code. Um, but this program itself tests out the draw flower function to make sure it works by calling draw flower once. So if I want to, I could go ahead and create another program here that imports that program into it. I could say import flower. If I import flower, then I can go ahead and write my own def main to go ahead and draw some flowers. So I would say flower dot draw flower, and I just have to remember what are the parameters to draw flower. Draw flower needs to be given a turtle. It needs to be given an xy coordinate, a scale, and a color. So over here, I better create a turtle first, and that means I'm going to have to import turtle. So I'll import both of those things, and I'll go ahead and create a turtle. And I'll go ahead and pass the turtle into draw flower, um, an x and a y coordinate into draw flower, a scale of, let's say, uh, um, 2 for this one. We'll make this one blue. Um, and I think that's all the parameters that I need for that. And uh, maybe I need to draw some other flowers as well. So draw a flower, T comma, and we'll go at, uh, um, let's say 50 comma 50. And we'll draw a flower that's half the size. And we'll make this one uh, pink. And when I'm all done, I'm going to do a screen.exit on click. So I'm going to get the screen. Screen equals t.getScreen. And we'll do a screen.exit on click. And then I've got to write that same if statement again. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore and if it is then I'll call main now you notice I'm importing flower here flower is being brought in to this program so I'm gonna where the input flower is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna suck all of this into my program and all including the main function here um, and then I'm going to try to uh, um, try this if statement out at the end but that is not going to be true because I am not running this program, I am importing it. And importing it means that Python is not going to let name be equal main for while I import it. So I'll go ahead and save this. And uh, we'll just save it as uh, um, meadow.py. I'm just going to replace it, and then we're going to go ahead and run it, and we'll see what it does. So there I, uh, I ran, oops, I think I ran the wrong one. So there I ran my program, and I created a couple different flowers. Um, in this uh, in this program here, so I've imported flower. Flower did not run. Um, it uh, it was imported, but it did not run the code. It defined those functions. I was able to use those those functions in this program. Um, this program has its own def main, and I called it by writing this if name equals main call main. Um, this program has its own def main as well, but it was not executed. This, this main function was not executed because this was not true at the end because I was importing it into another module. So having a main function does a couple things for us. 
It hides the variables that are declared in the main function from the rest of the program, protecting those other functions so that we make sure that we find any errors in these other functions. We found the fact that we didn't pass screen as a parameter and we didn't initialize it in this code. We also found the fact that we used t instead of turtle in here. So hiding the variables in the in in the main code is a, is a good thing. And the other thing it allows us to do is it allows us to import that module into other modules where we might use it. You, one of the things you should realize is that in Python you don't have to write a main function and you have seen that, seen many examples of that so far. Um, but you can write a main function and it's a good idea to write a main function. In most programming languages, you have to write a main function to get things started. So if you're writing a C or a C++ program or a Java program, there's a main function that you write to get everything started. In Python, the main function is something that Python programmers write as a, as a uh, convention, but it's not required because Python will execute the module level code um, to begin with. Um, it does not require there to be a main function. So hopefully this gives you some understanding of, of the utility of writing a main function um, and what it does for us uh, in our programs.